Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Michaela, and I make diamond painting videos here on this channel. Welcome back to a new diamond painting vlog. It is Sunday, February 25th, and I don't normally pop in on Sundays unless there is a release. <laughs> and there is going to be a release tomorrow. From Diamond Art Club, we are getting two new St. Patrick's Day themed kits, which both of them are very, very cute. I'm excited to talk about them. Um, yeah, I just love, I love when the vlog can start on Sunday. I'm like, ooh, what a little bit of a change of pace. But anyways, you guys, let's jump right in to the first sneak peek that we have for tomorrow. Um, these are both releasing tomorrow. Monday, February 26th at 9 a.m. Pacific or 12 p.m. Eastern. So obviously this video is going up next Saturday. So I, I don't know. I'll talk about one of the kits when I get to it, but I don't know if these will still be in stock by that point. But I still want to talk about them anyways, just because I enjoy talking about them. So the first kit uh, is Irish Coffee Dragon by Stanley Morrison, available in a 27.6 by 35 inch or a 70 by 89 centimeter square drills with 39 colors, including three ABs and one fairy dust. This looks so fun. I love how he's just sitting in um, like a, like a creamy, like I'm gonna, I'm looking at the description on it. It says creamy brew, but I didn't like that. So I said creamy and I'm like, Ugh, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but I just hate the word creamy. It's just one of those words. Do you guys have words that you guys don't like either? It just makes me feel weird. But anyways, maybe I'll stop saying it. But um, it's like a beer, maybe. It kind of looks like a coffee, if I'm being honest. Also, what the heck happened to my focus? Um, it kind of looks like a coffee, but it also kind of looks like a beer. And I feel like a beer makes more sense, but it kind of looks like a coffee with whipped cream. It might be a coffee with whipped cream, actually. I don't know. Um, the background looks like it's a lot of color blocking, but I'm pretty sure it's like a crap ton of confetti. <laughs> <laughs> don't be fooled um so that is the first piece that's releasing tomorrow editing Michaela here literally I'm so dumb this entire time I was like is this a coffee is this a beer it's literally in the name coffee it's it's in the name the name yeah, of course this is me I just I can't remember exactly the name of course I can't why would I the name is Irish coffee dragon not Irish beer dragon but I left the rant in anyways because I thought it was kind of funny but anyways back to your regularly scheduled programming and then the second one is Lady Leprechaun by Hannah Lynn available in a 17.7 by 24.7 inch or a 45.1 by 62.7 centimeter square drills with 54 colors including two ABs and three fairy dust or you can also get it in a round um, in a 20 by 28 inch or a 50.7 by 70.6 centimeter round drills with 54 colors, including two ABs and two fairy dust. Okay, so this is what I wanted to touch on a little bit. First of all, can we talk about the fact that I'm very excited that Hannah Lynn is coming out with more pieces with Diamond Art Club still? Um, I did mention this, that her license with Diamond Art Club doesn't expire. I don't think until April, so... Um, she did say that we are going to get some new pieces until then. So that's, that's awesome. I'm glad we're getting one. She's super duper cute. I love that she comes in around Anna Square. Um, I think both renderings look really great and not one doesn't look better than the other necessarily. I'm not going to pick her up, but I think if I had to choose for this piece, I might choose a round. I don't know. I mentioned this in my whip and chat video that I literally just filmed like an hour ago. Um, but I talked about how like when it comes to picking between round and squares like I just go off of vibes I'm like mm, this one feels better as a round perfect we're gonna get it that way um if it does have that option it's been a while since we've had diamond art club have like really something with an option between round and square so that's exciting that we got another um I feel like this one is kind of kind of unfortunate for me to talk about just because I have a feeling she's gonna sell out like right away today or tomorrow I feel like she's gonna sell out really really quickly um, I, you know, hope she's still in stock by the time this video goes up, but I probably won't be holding my breath for that. I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, but that, that's a-okay. Um, I don't think I'm gonna pick her up, like I said, but she is very cute, so I'm excited that she's being released, and I hope we see a few more Hannah Lynn's, obviously, and, yeah. Uh, that's that on that, but those are the releases that are coming out tomorrow. Um, I'm very excited. I don't know if I'll check in with the vlog tomorrow. I might just to update you guys on the status of that Hannah Lynn one to see if it's sold out or not. Um, otherwise, I don't know if we're getting any other sneak peeks tomorrow. We usually don't get them on Mondays. Um, usually, if anything, Tuesdays. Sometimes if there's a Wednesday release, we'll get sneak peeks on Monday, but I feel like not very often. And we rarely, rarely get them on Sundays, but we've had them twice since I started filming these vlogs. So anyways, you guys, I am going to figure out dinner because it's currently 520 
on a Sunday. And y'all, the Sunday scaries are hitting. This is why I don't vlog on Sundays because it's like Sunday scaries are hitting. Um, that's okay. It's fine. I'm gonna figure out some nice cozy, cozy dinner. I'm gonna eat, watch mindless YouTube because that's how I deal with life. And I will see you guys tomorrow or on Tuesday. Hi friends, happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday. February 27th. I don't know why, why it took my brain a second to read that out loud. Tuesday, February 27th. Hi guys, can we believe that we only have a few days left of February? Because I sure as hell can't, but hi. Okay, so I um, talked to you guys on Sunday because two new releases came, two new releases came out yesterday. And I know for a fact the Stanley Morrison sold out. That one sold out in like three minutes. That was kind of crazy I'm not gonna lie um but that one sold out um and then Lady Leprechaun sold out in rounds but is still available in squares which is kind of crazy um I did I did say though that I think it would make a better round I think I mentioned it in this video that I think it would make a better round um I think it'll look great in both shapes but I think the round it just it's not as detailed of artwork, so it lends itself better to round. I don't know. I'm making things up. But anyways, hi, guys. I hope everyone had a good Tuesday. And I have a few sneak peeks to go through. We have two from Diamond Art Club, one from Dreamer Designs. So let's get right into the first Diamond Art Club sneak peek. Oh, my gosh, my phone. We have Wakanda Forever by Marvel slash Black Panther, available in a 22 by 34 inch or a 55.8 by 85.7 centimeter square drills with 27 colors, including three ABs, one fairy dust, and two iridescents. The rendering on this looks so good, and I love that Diamond Art Club is, like, slowly releasing more, like, superhero stuff. Um, I think that's really fun. Um, I feel like last year they i mean maybe this isn't true i might just be making this up but i feel like last year they were doing more like um licensed releases like on one day it would have like some marvel releases come out at once and like dc i don't know did they have dc come out i don't even know but i feel like i remember there being like a marvel release at some point last year um and it seems like they're doing it more sporadically now but like more often if you know what i mean rather than a one-time thing i don't know if that makes sense but anyways i'm not a big superhero person i won't be picking this up but i think the rendering is fantastic on it and i think a lot of people are really going to like it it's also huge well okay it's not actually as big as i thought i guess it's it's not, it's not huge, huge. It's, it's pretty big though. Um, but anyways, moving on into dreamer designs, we have sugar coated dreams by Rami Lerda square drills, a 60 by 80 centimeter, 80 colors with eight ABs. You know, I feel like that is the most amount of colors I have seen in a dreamer designs kit in a while. I don't recall there ever being anything above like 75. I don't know. Um, this, this is so cute. I really like her. I think she's very fun. Um, her eyes are so big. Oh my god, but I love it. I love all the, like, the sweet treats on her head. I think this is a really fun piece of artwork, and, um, uh, the, like, girl itself isn't 100% my style, like, to diamond paint, but I think it's really fun, and, um, I have a feeling she'll go kind of fast. I just think she's really cute. I don't know if we've had this artist with Dreamer Designs before. I don't really recall, but super cute so that is the dreamer designs and then we go back to diamond art club and we have harry potter and the half-blood prince by warner brothers available in a 27.6 by 39 inch or a 70 by 99 centimeter square drills with 57 colors including two ab's and two fairy dust we're getting another harry potter movie poster this one is also really really good i love how this looks i think the rendering on these harry potter movie posters specifically always looks so good and i feel like if you're a really big harry potter fan like these must be so so fun to get um i'm not a big harry potter fan i've mentioned that a lot but um i just never got into it when i was younger and i feel like doing it as an adult now i don't really have any interest in doing it um but we'll see maybe eventually but yeah, I think this is so fun, and I don't know. I don't really have much else to say about it besides the fact that I think the rendering looks really good. So, anyways, you guys, that is it for now. Um, I it was just, like, a really long day. Um, you guys, it's, like, 70 degrees outside, but we're supposed to get snow tonight. I, you know, I, I've lived in Wisconsin for 25 years, and I still question a lot of things so yeah but 
anyways, I have no plans for tonight, which is great. I'm probably going to shower early like I do. Um, and I don't know. I don't know what I want to do tonight. I didn't really diamond paint a lot yesterday. And I'm not even sure I'm in the mood right now to diamond paint, which is a little odd, a little, little unlike me, but we'll see what I end up doing. I'll, I'll keep you guys posted. Hi friends, happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday, February 28th, AKA the, what should be the last day of the month, except it's not because it's a leap year. Uh, so it's not the last day of February yet. We still have tomorrow, which is really, really weird. God, leap years always confuse me and it's, I don't even know. But anyways, you guys, happy almost last day of February. <laughs> I hope everyone had a good Wednesday. We have a few more sneak peeks to talk about and I'll try to make this a little quicker than normal because I actually am heading out the door soon to hang out with um, with a friend. But let's get right into the first sneak peek that we have today from Diamond Art Club. We have two Diamond Art Clubs and one Dreamer Designs. So the first Diamond Art Club we have is Light of the Night by Jenny Lee, available in a 25.6 by 35.8 inch or a 65 by 91 centimeter square drills with 45 colors, including three a b's and one fairy dust this artwork is incredible i think this is so pretty the colors are right up my alley i love the blues and the greens blues and greens are some of my favorites to work with like blue greens and purples i'd say i'm definitely more like on the cooler side i'm a fan more than the warmer side um but just so stunning and i imagine the sky probably has so many different colors in it like it's probably very 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 confetti heavy this entire piece in general um, I really like it. I think it's really pretty. I mentioned, I've mentioned this in the last couple videos that I just need to be a little bit pickier about my landscapes. So I, I don't think I'm going to be picking this one up, but I do really, really like it. And then moving into dreamer designs, we have reclining leopard by Michael David Ward, uh, in a square drill, 60 by 60 centimeter, 65 colors with nine ABs. Dreamer Designs never fails with the amount of ABs. Oh my gosh. Um, the rendering on this, number one, is like incredible. I love how this looks. Um, I think the leopard looks really, really good. Oh my god. And the background looks really, honestly, this entire, this looks really good. This, this size point was really a good choice. Um, the rendering looks fantastic. I think this one will go really fast. Um... I am very excited. I hope I see some people post about it in the Dreamer Designs Facebook group. I, I really hope some people post about it because it's super, really pretty. And I feel like a lot of people are really going to like this one. Again, not really my style. I feel bad whenever I say like, you know, it's not really my style. I probably won't pick it up. I've seen a lot of discourse about this in other diamond painting Facebook groups. How like, if people find that offensive or not, like if artists will find that offensive, I've always been very honest, like, when it comes to my coloring hobby, I've always been very honest on my channel about how I feel about artwork from artists. Like, if I, if there's a coloring book that an artist releases that I'm not as big of a fan of, um, I'm not afraid to say it. And I feel like people shouldn't necessarily be afraid to speak it. I don't know. I just, I guess I find the sentiment silly that, like, that if you're saying something that's your opinion. As long as you're not being rude about it, I really don't see a problem with it. Um, but that's just me personally. I don't know. I don't think it's me. And if you're saying it nicely and respectfully, you're allowed to have your opinion and you are allowed to say it if you want to say it. I feel like artists probably recognize that, I would assume. Um, and I always, always feel like I respect all of the artwork that I'm speaking about. And I, I do think all of it is stunning. And it's not all going to be my style, though. Like, that's nearly impossible. You know, like that, I have likes and dislikes. I just wanted to like talk about that quick because I've seen a lot of things about it. And I don't want to be stepping on toes by saying it's not my style. Because that's not meant negatively. It's just meant like, it's not my style. I wouldn't want to diamond paint it, but it is pretty. And it is for somebody. It is for somebody. So I would never just say a piece of artwork's ugly. I would never say that. Okay, anyways, moving right along. Um, the last sneak peek that we have is super gorgeous. I really like this one. This is Amelia and Twixt by Micah Jelena Art, available in a 28 by 22 inch or a 70.6 by 55.8 centimeter. Round drills with 42 colors, including two ABs, one glow in the dark, and two fairy dust. This one is so cool. I really like this one. I'm debating if this one will go on my wish list or not. I'm kind of toying with it. I've never diamond painted any of Micah Jelena's artwork. None of it's really like stood out to me to want to diamond paint. 
Um, but this one might be an exception. I really like the purples and the blues in this one. Like I was just saying earlier, like some of my favorite colors. Um, the cat is so cute also. This kind of gives me slight Curtis Rykovich vibes. It's slight, 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 slight. Like not, they're not the same. They both just have people. It just, it's giving similar vibes, you know? But this is super cool. Definitely a possibility to put on my wish list. I don't think I'm gonna pick it up this week, but I really like it though. So those are the sneak peeks. I love how I said this was gonna be a quick clip and now it's five minutes later and it really wasn't that quick. But I hope everyone had a good day. I'm about to head out and go to dinner with my friend and we're gonna do a craft night. So I'm probably gonna diamond paint. I don't think I'm gonna do any coloring. I actually <laughs> purchased a couple coloring books that are coming in the mail tomorrow. I couldn't help myself. I'm not coloring, but I wanted to buy a couple. I ended up buying Alexandra Francis's newest fairy chibi coloring book. It looked so cute, couldn't resist. And then I ordered the new Hannah Lynn from the archives coloring book. Um, so any diamond painters, I've said this before, if you um, love Hannah Lynn's artwork, I suggest picking up some of her coloring books because you can kind of get the, you can get the line work, you can get the line work of the artwork and then you just color it in yourself. So very fun. I'm very excited about it. I actually don't even really know what's in the coloring book, but if it's Hannah Lynn, it's a pretty safe bet that I'll like it. So anyways, you guys, I probably won't check in with the vlog again today, but I will see you guys tomorrow for some more sneak peeks. Hi friends. Happy Thursday. It is Thursday, February 29th, which I won't be able to say that for another four years. So happy February 29th, happy leap year day. Um, I hope everyone has had a good Thursday. I literally just got off of work like a minute ago and I'm like, if I don't set up my camera now and just film this clip, I will never do it. Um, because tonight I'm actually going out to dinner with my parents and my uncle. So I was like, okay, we're just gonna film this now <laughs> um, because I likely am not gonna check in with the vlog again tonight, I don't think. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a little bit of a small <laughs> Diamond Art Club and Amazon haul. Um, and then I'm gonna go through the sneak peeks. So let's go through the Diamond Art Club haul first. And I ordered, I was not planning on getting this, you guys, but kind of just fell into my cart. <laughs> I finally got the thin metal multi-placer, the four tip. I'm so excited, I've heard such good things, and keep an eye out for a video on Wednesday, because on Wednesday I will be doing my first impressions trying this on camera for you guys, so likely gonna film that tomorrow. So unfortunately I can't give it a go tonight, but um, I'm really excited about that actually. Um, I've heard it works really, really well with square drills, but I heard with round drills it doesn't work as well, so I'm a little bit intrigued to see, kind of see my experience with it. But nonetheless, I'm excited. And then I got two diamond paintings. I got Witch's Flower Shop by Mrs. Butter D. This one is so pretty, I just couldn't resist. I said I was gonna slow down on round diamond paintings, but then this one came out and I'm like, you know what, this artwork is so worth it. So I decided to pick this one up. Um, and it's actually still in stock right now, at least I think. So maybe it'll still be in stock by the time this video goes up. But then I also got this big diamond painting. I got Weekend in Paris. Weekend in Paris? That's not a thing. Oh, that's not what I meant. Weekend in Paradise by Abraham Hunter. This artwork's gorgeous, actually. Is it this way? Nope, it's this way. Um, oh my god, my chair is in the way. How am I supposed to do this? I guess you guys will just look at it this way. I'm so sorry. My chair is in the way, so I can't just like lay it outwards the other way. But this is the artwork. It's very, very stunning. It's one of their older older pieces i don't know how old it actually is but i do know that this one's been on my wish list for a while and it came back into stock and i'm like this is perfect timing i'm gonna pick it up i have so many diamond paintings that look very similar to it but i love the style so i'm like i might as well and then i did buy a couple of coloring books off amazon um and i figured i'd just throw them in here because why not um so first one i got is fairy chibis this is by alexandra francis she's one of my favorite coloring book artists i'll show you guys like a couple of the images nothing nothing too crazy um i don't plan on flipping this book on the channel um but i'm sure i will do a page or two so that's the first book and then a book i do want to flip on the channel actually i think is a, like a bonus video i'm gonna flip this book um, just like a day I'm not uploading a diamond painting video, I'll just upload this. This is Whimsy Girls from the Archives by Hannah Lynn. I love this. I'm going to show you guys three very specific pages I think you guys might recognize. Um, let me see. Let me find them first. So, oh, the first one is right away. First page. Does she look familiar? Does she look familiar? This is uh, Flower. Oh, shoot. See, now I forgot the name. That was really dumb of me. 
flower, flower, flower market girl. Flower market girl was the first one. She's a diamond painting. Um, unfortunately, I don't know if flower market girl is still in stock or not. If it's not, it's archived, but this was a diamond painting at one point. Was in stock for a pretty long time, I think. And then we have one of the Black Friday releases. Let me find it quick. We have this one. I remember this one. I think it was like the first sneak peek or no maybe it really wasn't the first sneak peek but it's the first one that caught my eye this is autumn stroll i love her and then the last one um was also a diamond painting it's this one spooky doll spooky doll or spooky girl hold on let me check my sources also known as the front of the book uh spooky doll Spooky Doll. So that is Hannah Lynn's uh, Whimsy Girls from the Archives. Basically, this book is just like, um, it says here, includes numerous designs created for limited print run magazines over the years and artworks from her portfolio never before offered as coloring pages. So basically things that haven't been in any coloring books, um, which is cool because a lot of Hannah Lynn's books are pretty much themed. Um, so it's kind of cool to have one kind of like a mixed bag kind of thing, but that is my little haul. And now let's go ahead and jump into the sneak peeks that we've gotten today. Um, we have three sneak peeks that we've gotten today, one from Dreamer Designs, two from Diamond Art Club. So let's just get right into the first Diamond Art Club sneak peek. We have Dragon Artist by Neen Thomas Illustrations Inc. Available in a 29.5 by 27.6 inch or a 70 by, 75 by 70 centimeter square drills with 53 colors including three ABs and three fairy dust. This is really really cool. I really like this one. I kind of vaguely remember this one being in voting a while ago. Um, I think this is really really cool. Um, I don't know like I don't think I'm gonna pick it up this week. It'll maybe go on my wish list. I really really like it though. Um, I love the dragon. I love the girl, the artist vibes. It's really, really cool. I think like maybe a little bigger size point would have captured those little details just like a little bit better. There's a lot of detail in this picture. That being said, I'm sure there's more to consider than just the small details. Like, I mean, if you make the picture bigger, you make everything bigger. So like, I could understand why it didn't go that way, but I think it's really, really cool. I think a lot of people are really gonna like it. Um, so that's the first sneak peek that we got. And then moving into Dreamer Designs, we have Nothing Happens Unless by Jody Bergsma, square drill kit in a 60 by 80 centimeters, 58 colors with four ABs. This one is really, really pretty. I love the colors on this one. Um, I love all of like the green tones mixed in with the pink, a combo I didn't think I need. Yeah, I think it's gorgeous. Um, I think this will one that be one that goes on my wish list. Um, I really like it. I think it's very well done. I love the rendering. Um, I just think everybody is releasing some good dragon kits, <laughs> and uh, this is just it's just a really good, really good picture. So that is the Dreamer Designs sneak peek, and then the last Diamond Art Club for the day that we got is Grand Canal and Bas Basilica Venice. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> by Leon. De Devonese, mm, that's not correct, available in a 41.3 by 27.6 inch or a 105 by 70 centimeter square drills with 61 colors including five ABs and four fairy dust. We've gotten some artwork by this artist before and it's while I was filming these videos and I would pronounce it and just it, so wrong every time. Um, this is super cool. I like this artwork a lot. I can very much appreciate it. I love how it's very like abstracty but then you get the city that they're trying to show i guess um not my style of diamond painting but definitely really really cool and i know a lot of people liked the other releases from this artist so i'm excited that we're seeing another one be released and it's just these are just really cool takes on landscapes i feel like because you don't really see that very often so those are the sneak peeks that we have today um i also just wanted to bring up quick that um in the craftably um facebook group i saw a post from i think the owner of craftably um that unfortunately they are closing their doors uh craftably is gonna be done um it is very unfortunate for the diamond painting community i had never tried any craftably diamond paintings before um i've heard nothing but good things though and it's i'm very disappointed like i really would have wanted to see um what they were gonna do in the future there were a few pieces on my mind initially that i really wanted but they kind of like came and gone before i even realized i wanted them and then um 
yeah, I guess we'll, we'll never get them. But yeah, I just wanted to mention that. Very, very sad day for the diamond painting community. And if you want something from Craftably, I would check their website now just to see. Uh, yeah, so that, I wanted to bring that up. I don't know much about Craftably at all. Um, aside from the fact that since I've been diamond painting, they've been pretty on and off with things. Um, so very disappointing to kind of see it go this way, but anyways, you guys, it's, oh my god, 10 minute clip, basically. Um, I am gonna go sit for a little bit. My parents are gonna pick me up soon, and we're gonna go out to dinner, so I'll likely just check back in with the vlog tomorrow, so I will see you guys then. Hi guys, happy Friday. It is Friday, March 1st, and it is currently 3.06. And the final sneak peek from Diamond Art Club just got released and I'm very surprised by it because usually it comes out at 4 o'clock central time but that just gives me a little bit more time to get my act together. But um, I just worked this morning and then had an appointment this afternoon and then I came home and actually I filmed two videos this afternoon which is kind of crazy because last night I actually edited the vlog up until this point so I had time to film two videos. I ended up filming my flip through video of uh, a brand new Disney color by number book which I would show you guys except it's on the floor over there right now and I'm too lazy to get it so um, I will show you guys that tomorrow you guys will see that video and then um, I also filmed my first impression using the new uh, thin metal multiplacer from Diamond Art Club so that video will go up Wednesday so I was very productive this afternoon I'm very happy about it um, but we have a few more sneak peeks to talk about and I just want to add that I will not be purchasing this weekend um, which is great for my wallet, unfortunate for my heart, but great for my wallet. So <laughs> the last few sneak peeks are very pretty though, just not my style, but anyways, the first sneak peek that we got today from Diamond Art Club is, oh God, <laughs> the pronunciation of this. I remember screenshotting it and going, I don't know how to pronounce this. Um, we're gonna just, we're, e we're gonna try our best. It's an Ines Guerrero Mictecca Kihutal? Oh no, I'm so sorry. Really wrong. By Ines Guerrero. Available in a 25.6 by 35.8 inch or a 65 by 91 centimeter square drills with 49 colors including two ABs and two fairy dust. I really enjoy uh, Ines Guerrero's artwork. I do think it's like a little too dark for me in regards to like wanting to diamond paint it. Um, I am not sure if I have any of hers on my wish list at all. Um, her stuff's very dark, very um, uh, neutral color palettes a lot of the time. Very gorgeous artwork though. I know a lot of people are gonna love it. I understand why they left those that sneak peek until today um, because she's so popular. So I think she's really, really fun and gorgeous. Just very dark for my taste. Um, but yeah, that is the first sneak peek. And then going to Dreamer Designs, we have Village Under the Moon by Mamart. Uh, this is a round drill kit in a 60 by 80 centimeter. 59 colors with four ABs. This one's actually really, really cool, and I think the round rendering looks really good. Um, I'm usually, I'm usually very skeptical about round renderings with landscapes, but this one is, I don't know, it just seems to work. According to like the rendering picture, um, it seems to work. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be picking this up anytime soon, um, but I do think the rendering looks really, really good, and this is a very fun piece of artwork, and I feel like we don't really see this very often from Dreamer Designs, so I am very excited about it. I think it's very, very pretty, a very fall, like a very fall scene, very adorable. And then the last sneak peek from Diamond Art Club is Rebreathe by Yume Art, available in a 25.6 by 38.6 inch or a 65 by 98 centimeter. Square drills with 43 colors, including three ABs and one fairy dust. I know a lot of people love Yume Art, so I'm not surprised at all that this one was kept until the last sneak peek. Um, I do have a few Yume Art pieces. This one is very, very pretty. Um, I just don't think it's like a subject matter that I necessarily want to diamond paint, but I think she's really stunning. I think she's gonna go pretty fast, if I'm being honest. Um, that's just my first initial thoughts. However, I feel like there was a piece very similar to this that came out during Black Friday. Now, I can't remember the name of it, and that one, I think, is still in stock, so this one might not go that go as fast as we expect, but I do think a lot of people are going to pick it up. 
Um, but granted, like some of you may arts goes really, really fast. So it's kind of just, it's always probably based on the artwork anyways, not really the artist, but she's really stunning. And it's a very fun piece. And I feel like it probably has a lot of meaning behind it. Um, lots of details, very pretty. So anyways, you guys, that is it for the sneak peeks this weekend. Like I said, I don't think I'm gonna be purchasing, which is probably for the best, to be honest. Um, say okay and I'm glad because last week I bought using points and this week I'm just not buying so we're saving some money which is good which is good which is great um I need to like be an adult sometimes you know um but anyways you guys I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because I'm gonna finish editing this vlog uploading it scheduling it and then tonight I don't know if I mentioned I am going to another hockey game um and I think my friend and I might be going out to dinner beforehand because her birthday was a couple weeks ago and I told her I was gonna take her out for her birthday so I think that's the plan. Um, so I'm gonna end off this vlog here. Kinda glad we got the sneak peek early because then I can get this done a little earlier. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching this video today. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below if you're not already. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.